Hello, soap. Shh, I'm gonna get him. What the fuck? You did this shit to me? What's up, YouTube? It's Peter Kang, Kang Gang for life, everyone. So today, we're gonna be talking about the truth about Lance Stewart, guys. If you don't know who Lance Stewart is, guys, Lance Stewart is a very popular YouTube creator, Instagram creator, and TikTok creator. A lot of people growing up, guys, in my high school thought that Lance was fake and he did not actually care about his fans. So today, I'm actually going to be telling you guys the truth about Lance Stewart. A little story time, so rewind let's go back in time so back in time guys i was going to panera bread and when i was at panera bread i was there with my family members and one of my good friends across from my table was a lance stewart actually guys and he was there with his whole filming squad i think they were probably going to make a video later during the day uh that's why they're all there together talking about what videos to make there was groups of people guys going up to lance non-stop asking for pictures Obviously, I knew who it was. My mom was like, yo, Peter, why don't you hurry up and go ask for a picture before he leaves? In my opinion, guys, I felt extremely bad for him because he literally had no time to eat because people were nonstop asking for pictures with him. I just told my mom, I'll take a picture with him after he's done eating. So after it like settled down and people stopped asking for pictures, he was done eating his food. He came back to his table. I think it was like one of his friends were, was eating and that's it. So I was like, all right, this is my chance. I went up to Lance and I go, hey, Lance, I'm a huge fan of yours. Can I take a picture with you? And he goes, yeah, of course, man. Um, so uh, obviously that was real kind of him. He wasn't fake at all. Um, we took a picture together and we shook hands and everything. I went back to my table to eat my food. Um, Panera mac and cheese, guys. Yum. All right, but yeah, I was eating my food, guys. And Lance actually ran over. About five minutes later, he ran over and sat right next to me, guys. He sat right next to me at my table. I was like, oh my god, guys. Like, a famous YouTuber is right next to me. This is so cool. This is sick. And he comes out to me, and he goes, yo, do you want to be in one of my videos? And I go, yeah, of course. And he says, well, like, before you say that, and I truly do appreciate Lance for doing this, guys. He actually asked me, as before you say yes, can I get your permission? Because this video might be a bit racist. So I truly, 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 guys, do appreciate him asking that. Because that obviously shows that he does care for my feelings on it. I said, okay, well, what's it about? And he goes, so I've been making these videos and they've been blowing up. And basically I had a, had a white guy go into the bathroom. And when he came out of the bathroom, he would come out as a black guy because he used black soap. I have yellow soap at home. So basically Lance tells me I have yellow soap at home. I'm going to have one of my friends go into the bathroom. When they come out, out comes you because people say Asians are yellow and everything like that. And he says, is it okay with you if we can do that? If not, that is perfectly fine. I said, yeah, let's do it. Because I truly do like how he asked for my permission, guys, on how I felt about it first. So he says, all right, cool. Let's exchange numbers. Um, so he gave me his phone number, guys, and boom, right away he texts me, yo, come over, this is my address and everything. So I drive to his house, guys. Uh, when I got to his house, he opened his door, he met my family, like he, he was extremely kind to everyone, and I went inside his house, we did the filming, and one thing I noticed about Lance, guys, was his work ethic. Alright, the video we created together is about 10 to 15 seconds long guys it's really short it's called yellow soap guys but it's really short but he actually made us film it a bunch of times till we got it perfect like just filming the yellow tiny soap bar guys he did that non-stop like 50 times i'm not even joking like 50 takes just to get the lighting and the angle perfect guys so i truly do admire lance's work ethic and everything like that guys i think that a lot of people forget about that Lance introduced me to his friends and all them, and I think, I think that was very kind of him to make me feel warm and welcomed into his house, especially because all those guys were pretty famous and everything like that. And from there on, guys, uh, he literally took me out the house, He said we said bye, and then his mom pulled me out, guys, and his mom lives right next to him extremely extremely wonderful woman guys and she goes are you a fan of my son and i go yeah i am and then she goes okay and then she brought out a limited edition jacket guys and another merchandise of lance's so she gave me two jackets for free guys one sweatshirt one jacket guys for free and she's like thank you so much for being in lance's videos and everything like that and i just want to tell you guys lance and his mom really did just show me full out kindness all right, guys, and a lot of people think, yeah, well, he just used you for the video and everything like that. No, guys, um, actually wrong. 
after the video was done and I went home, I thought it'd just be over my relationship with me and Lance, guys. But truth be told, guys, it's not. As soon as I got home, he literally texted me, thank you so much for the video, guys. The next day after that, he posted the video. I gained like 8,000 followers on TikTok, guys. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. But I gained like 8,000 followers from Lance on TikTok. And then I started growing myself. I started asking Lance questions. How can I grow myself on social media and everything? And he would literally give me step-by-step -step routines on what to do. And I was like, whoa, he's sharing his secrets with me. This is crazy. This is awesome. I truly do appreciate it. And then like a month after the video, guys, Lance still checks up on me. If I ask him any questions at all, he always gets back to me. It's crazy, guys. He's literally like, he's traveling everywhere. Obviously, he doesn't have to respond to me. But if I ask him any type of question, he's always willing to help me, guys. So Lance Stewart, I'm telling you guys, is not this fake YouTuber. He's not this... um asshole that a lot of people think or like he doesn't care about his fans guys no he truly does guys he shows his care for me guys and i still text him to this day and he's still helping me out with with advice guys I j i'm just starting youtube and he's helping me out with youtube on what to do and what not to do guys so if you guys don't know who lance stewart is guys please make sure you guys follow him on tiktok instagram youtube if you guys don't follow me on tiktok or instagram guys give me a follow if you guys don't subscribe to my channel on YouTube, guys, make sure you guys subscribe. Kang Gang out. Peace out, guys. Love you all.